you really are gonna stand there and you're gonna look at me and tell me, tell me that I'm not good for this family? You have the nerve to tell me that what I'm doing is wrong? I'm going to school. I'm going to a school that I worked damn hard to get into, despite having to look over everyone in the house because you didn't do anything. You were okay the first five years I was alive when dad was here too, but when he was gone, he completely disappeared. You were gone. You don't get to tell me that I'm doing something wrong when you have fucked up every single thing that I've had in my life. You have not been a good mother. You were not at any school function. You were not at any plays. You were not at any soccer games, at any football games. Fucking chess matches. I went to every single one of those. I was there for everyone, and you were there for no one. And I know you missed out. I miss him too. I miss him every single day, but that does not give you an excuse to guilt me. And I can't be guilted because I worked so hard. And my bags are packed. It's not, it's not right for you to do this. Now that I have everything ready to go, ready to leave, a fucking U-Haul truck in the driveway, you're out of time for being a good mom. It's not time to pick up your things now and be a good parent. Now I'm gonna visit, but not for you. Only because I can't stand to leave anyone here for you. You know, it's kind of crazy in the beginning, but um, I'm glad you were there. Uh, those guys are assholes. I don't really see them that often, but um, when I do, it never goes well. But so goes the epic relationship between good girls and toxic guys, I guess. I should just learn to stop hanging out with douchebags like that, but you're too awkward for stuff like that. And that's why I like you. Uh, my apartment's just on the block, but maybe we can get a coffee tomorrow or something. Right. Right. Right, I'm gonna go in there. And I'm gonna act so cool. I'm gonna act confident and sexy. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna ask for a triple vodka on the rocks. Because that's what they do, right? That's what adults do. And they're not even gonna question me or my authority. They're not even gonna question it. Because I'm gonna act tall. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna act tall. And when you're out here in the cold and you're watching me and you're seeing how kick-ass I look, you're gonna wish you were acting tall too. Psychology. You can't marry that girl, Doug. You can't. Cause what about me? What am I gonna do? Uh, do you remember that night when my dad died and uh, and you came to the funeral home and you were saying all that shit to me? It was stupid shit, but it was really great. Um, and I look back on my life and the top 10 best things that anybody has ever done for me and every single one have been done by you. And I don't know, I feel like that's pretty, pretty cool. Do you think I'm gonna find this amusing? I'm only here because my parents forced me to be here. I don't like you. I don't think you're cool. I barely think you're attractive. So flirting with me, that way you can get something out of it. I don't know, maybe I'll give a good report to your mom. That's not gonna work with me. I don't like you and I don't have any intentions on being your friend. I will eat your sandwich though if you don't want it. I had fun tonight. I'm being serious. I mean, I got kind of got kind of crazy in the beginning, <laughs> um, but I'm glad. I'm glad you invited me. I wouldn't have wanted to see crazy with anybody else. <laughs>